The trial for the murder of hip hop DJ Jam Master J is set to begin today. The Run DMC star was shot in 2002 in his recording studio in Queens. Other people were in the studio when he was killed, but it remained a cold case for many years. Federal prosecutors say the two defendants on trial, Carl Jordan Jr. and Ronald Washington, planned to kill Jam Master J over a drug deal. Both men pleaded not guilty. For more on the trial, let's bring in attorney Jessica Ehrlich. Uh, Jessica, this is sort of a fascinating case. Um, take us through the charges against the defendants and the sentences they could face and, and why it's taken so long to get to this point. Good morning. Um, well, it has taken almost 20 years for this case to come to trial. It's actually the first of the sort of three main um, murder trials that we're seeing. There was the 1996 killing of Tupac Shakur, the 1997 killing of um, Notorious B.I.G., and then um, the killing of Jam Master J. And um, it was a cycle that we saw. This is the first, after all these years, of these cases that's actually coming to trial. And it's being brought, as you mentioned, as a federal murder trial. This is not a state crime, because this is seen as a drug-related murder. Um, it is therefore a federal case going before a federal judge by a federal prosecutor. The prosecution says that the reason it has taken so long is because the witnesses were not willing to speak before, either out of fear for retribution or for various other personal reasons, and that forensic evidence was um, being built over this time. They now have, because of new science, the ability to have uh, more accurate evidence, which we will see as the trial unfolds. Um, as well as new witnesses that have come forward. So the two that are going to trial starting today, um, as you mentioned, and there's one other murder suspect as well that is going to be going into a separate trial. Um, so you talked about uh, new witnesses. There were witnesses there at the time, but as you know, as time ticks on, sometimes you don't remember all so well, but there was another person who was actually shot and survived. Based on what we know about the case, what do you think will be the most compelling evidence against the defendants? Certainly the eyewitness testimony. Um, it'll be very interesting to see what the prosecution has. Federal prosecutors are very unwilling to bring cases that they feel, particularly in the state of New York, that are not airtight and very strong. So I think we're gonna see some compelling evidence. However, the defense says, Given to your point that it has been 20 years, that it's actually um, a detriment to the defense for them to now have to be brought to trial. In particular, I think they were, you know, Jordan has been um, a possible suspect in this case since 2007. And um, so they're saying that it is, there's no DNA evidence that links them and that the evidence that is is circumstantial. They both pled not guilty. Um, the federal prosecutor is not seeking the death penalty in this case. They're just seeking um, time. So there's additional crimes that have also been brought. I know Washington has some drug crimes that will be handled at the same time. So each of the defendants is looking at a minimum probably of 20 years if found guilty, and then it'll come down to sentencing and other factors that the judge believes come into play. All right, Jessica, thank you so much.